Hello viewers, you join myself and Deanna on a trip home to the bunker. So obviously there was an earthquake that was now I think two weeks ago, was it? And we've been in Istria um, quite some distance away with our family staying safe while quakes have been continuing. So yesterday there was like 17 quakes or something. There are fewer today, thankfully. But in any case, it's clearly a very geologically active area. So we're going back to check the state of the property, see if there are any cracks or anything like that. Hopefully there won't be. Retrieve some of our belongings that we're missing and also collect our cat. So yes, let's see how things go. After weeks away and with smaller earthquakes continuing, it felt strange to be returning under these circumstances. As we got closer to our home, it became clear from the signs of damage to other buildings and the presence of emergency vehicles that we were re-entering a disaster zone. We began to wonder whether we would find our house in the same condition we left it. So we're here. Um... Our house is just over there. We can't show you everything because some of it is Deanna's in-laws and they won't want us, they won't want you to see where they live. But it's kind of weird to be back here after two weeks. This is the playground where we were originally kind of sheltering from the quake. Um, and yeah, it's not quite the homecoming I expected. Whenever you're away for a couple of weeks, you expect to be, oh, we're back off holiday, but it doesn't feel like that at all. And I'm anxious to see what state the house is in and what state the bunk is in. So we shall see. It's back at the bunker. We will be in. Okay. Well, this is looking promising so far. Now oh, that's powered off. Yes, I found the humidifier. Oh, that's the thing I powered off. Oh, that's your fault, Sibor. Yeah, that's because to protect my book. Oh, I, <laughs> I thought it was the heater. You know, no, I asked, no, no, no. I asked you about the heater, so. No, it's a, a dehumidifier. Anyway, this is pretty much how I left it. Uh, you can see here. Thank you for rescuing R two, by the way. No problem. Uh, Tibor mentioned that R two was a bit of a casualty. R two had fallen on the floor, so. R2 is safe and able to provide security while I'm not here. But yeah, broken glasses. This broke actually during the earthquake. Uh, and <laughs> you can see here my slippers are on the floor still because uh, I didn't have time to put them on. <laughs> I just rushed out in my socks. It was just so sudden. But looking at it now, you can see, I mean, presumably you didn't do this, Tibor. I did not mess around with my books like this, but these were all nicely displayed and they've all been knocked around by the uh, by the earthquake. Again, I had other considerations at the time. I was very pressingly concerned with getting the hell out of here. Um, but I'm actually, you know, I'm quite happy that it's in, it's in good nick. I can't see any cracks in the ceiling or anything. Structurally, it seems to be okay, considering there's a bloody great big house on top of the bunker. It's, uh, it's all right, so I'm quite happy. And uh, Tibor came to the rescue and got some of my gear, disconnected the dehumidifier. <laughs> which we'll have to talk about later. <laughs> okay. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm quite pleased with the state of the bunker. And uh, yeah, we'll retrieve some more stuff shortly. What is it that's smelling? It does smell pretty bad. You can see that we still have the Christmas tree up. And everything's messy even more messy than it ordinarily would be because of the earthquake, <laughs> not because of us. Those vegetables look interesting. 
Oh, those bananas are. <laughs> you know, it's bad if you have to ask. That's what happens to bananas after two weeks. Yeah, and this time it isn't me. This is Myrna. Myrna has been looking after Hi. our cat, which is, is, I can assure you, in there. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and yeah, thank you so much for looking after our animal for us while we've been running away no from problem. the apocalypse. No problem. Yeah. I'm glad you're safe now. We're all safe. Our yeah. house is still standing. And uh, yeah, we have our health. Yeah, that's the most thing. important. Did yeah. you feel you felt the tremor, didn't you, inside her? Yeah, it was awful. It was it wasn't a tremor, it was more like the whole house was just going left to right. Yeah. So my husband got up to get to me but he was going like this. Yeah. So it was scary. Yeah. But when I got the notification that it was Petrina, then I was just terrified yeah. because I knew it, it was dead strength in Zagreb that Petrina mm. so. yeah. yeah. It was really violent, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It, it just, uh, it knocked me down on the floor when I was, uh, when I got here and it still my knee hurt too when I bend it uh, on the floor. Yeah, it, it was just so violent, I've never experienced something like that. And you're here delivering things, are you, for animal food or...? Uh, we have a little bit of food, yeah. because we have points here that are filled with food. Yeah. But I'm trying to go, we are going to see the villages around and I need a list of animals that don't have food. Okay, good. Because there are a lot of uh, bunnies and sheep. And you know, yeah. they don't have to. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Well, I hope it goes well. Well, thank you. Yeah. I hope to see you in the bunker soon. I hope so too. It's, yeah. it's still there and there are no cracks in our house, so. So who knows? it was not an apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Armageddon. We are yeah. still here. You hope missed me, yeah. so yeah. Can we also <laughs> say thank you, a special thank you to your husband? Yeah, yes. Sure. I don't know why, but sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> thank, thank you, Myrna's husband, who I understand is a fan of the channel. Cool. What's your husband called again? Ivan. 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 Ivan, thank you. You've done a fantastic job. Yeah, thank Together you. Together with your dear wife of looking after our animal, who is currently <laughs> very confused. So now that we have our cat, the plan now is to see how far we can get into Petrinia. I'm interested to see what we can see, uh, but without interfering with aid efforts. And in fact, we managed to put together some clothes, some children's clothes that we can maybe drop off. I'm hoping we can find a drop off point so that children who don't have any clothes can at least have some of Jessica's. Yeah, we're actually making some good progress into Petrinia um, and still quite a steady flow of traffic. I wasn't expecting to get this deep in. Uh, we're maybe only, I'm going to say, five minutes away from the centre, so... And I know that at some point the road will be closed, so we're just going to see how close we can get in and whether we can find any drop-off points for our clothing. Indeed, the road was closed near the centre and we were forced down some side streets in search of somewhere to park. Eventually, we were able to get out on foot near the town square, where the earthquake's devastation soon became clear. So we're just approaching the main central square in Petrinia, and I have to say, I mean, you can see there, and the, you can see evidence of damage when you actually look for it. There's an old town there as well. Um, God, I mean. It's confusing because you're seeing lots of buildings, but you don't know which ones have been um, condemned. Just about to see in the distance there, some piles of snow in the street. That's where the really worst of the damage is in the centre and where uh, a 13 year old died, I think five days after her birthday, walking down the street, building collapses. And uh, yeah, it's, it's the loss of life, isn't it, really? That's the most tragic thing. I mean, buildings can be repaired or they can be replaced, but when people die, 
something else entirely. 13-year-old Laura Sviech was one of seven people tragically killed in the magnitude 6 earthquake that shook Petronia to its core. Though some buildings were instantly demolished, others left standing are so damaged that they've either been condemned already or soon will be. Of the 35,000 buildings so far reported as damaged, 19,000 have been inspected, of which 2,400 have received an ominous red sticker effectively ordering them to be pulled down in the interests of public safety. That sticker there, Neil Korob Ljubo, means it's condemned, it needs to come down. So homes and buildings have been getting that sticker and basically if you have that sticker, tough luck, your house needs to come down even if it looks like it's still standing. And you can see there as well, I mean, we, we've been walking down this street looking at the buildings thinking we shouldn't be walking too close to those, they look like they could come down at any moment. So goodness knows what it's like for people who live here. Frankly, dropping off a few clothes and knickknacks feels like almost an insult, but I guess at least it's something. I think it's worthwhile just noting that you know, we're seeing devastation, but we're also seeing an, Im an immense expression of humanity. I mean, sure, we've got the army here. Uh, we've got, looks like volunteers. There's a food truck there, giving people hot meals. Again, what I've, what I've just, just done feels almost like an insult compared to what's happening, but I guess every little helps. And the take home message for me is that, especially from an ex-Jehovah's Witness point of view, Satan's system of things really isn't all that bad. There's been a calamity, and just look how everyone's banding together to help. You know, if your home's been damaged or destroyed, there's at least somewhere to come to where you can have a warm meal, you can have some clothes, and there are people who you can reach out to for help. And I think if only people could understand there's so much humanity on display here, and it's good to see. Earthquakes happen all the time. While fundamentalist doomsday groups tend to leap on them as evidence that Judgment Day is nigh, violent, unpredictable movements in the Earth's crust have been going on since our planet's earliest beginnings and will continue for as long as Earth is geologically active. It's down to us to do what we can to help our fellow humans when tragedy strikes. That's why I'm enormously grateful for organisations like Solidarna, link in the description, as well as the Croatian Red Cross, who are making a difference on the ground for my fellow citizens in the wake of this particular tragedy. If you can donate to their excellent work, please consider doing so.